Good evening. All are welcome here as we gather for a time of prayer and reflection. God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is God that made us, and we are God's. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God. Bless God's name. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. And God's faithfulness to all generations. Give thanks to God. Bless God's name. This week, I've invited you to share those things at the end of the day for which you are grateful. And your response has been tremendous. I've been so encouraged, my spirit renewed, simply by reading all that you've shared. And I've noticed that when you pay attention and name a blessing, it helps me to pay attention to. Several of you had noted the gentle rain that fell recently as a gift. And yesterday morning when I was walking in the midst of a gentle rain, I was able to perceive it as a blessing, thanks to you. I've been so moved by this experiment, <laughs> this call to gratitude. Um, that I'd like to see it continue. Um, I know there are other folks out there doing a thankful Thursday, and so I might try to implement something like this on an ongoing basis. Uh, so look for a post from me uh, next week, too, and you can add to it, and we'll keep using this Wednesday evening as an opportunity to name those blessings that we've experienced throughout the week. I read all of your responses and I assembled them into a poem using Carrie Newcomer's poem, Three Gratitudes, as the framework. You won't see everything you wrote in this poem, but I hope you'll see at least some portion of what you shared. And I also hope that seeing this list of gratitudes will inspire you to keep on giving thanks to God and blessing God's name, even in the midst of so much uncertainty, fear, and sorrow. I've entitled our poem, Blessings Without Number. Blessings Without Number, inspired by Carrie Newcomer's poem, Three Gratitudes. Every night before I go to sleep, I say out loud three things that I'm grateful for. All the significant, insignificant, extraordinary, ordinary stuff of my life. It's a small practice and humble. And yet I find I sleep better holding what lightens and softens my life ever so briefly at the end of the day. A gentle rain that makes the green grass greener. Smell of fresh mowed grass. New hay in the barn. Morning walks in the park, ushered by singing birds.
beautiful spring flowers, tulips, daffodils, bluebells, budding trees dressed for dancing, the miracles of spring and summer. The beauty of my morning walk along the river, listening to the water run. The blossoms coming down as I mow under the trees. Bright, sunny days. Breathtaking sunrises and sunsets. All the signs of spring in God's beautiful world. My health, my ability to get around at 90 years young being too busy to worry. My ability to try to help farmers, chemo, and my medical team that provides care. FaceTime today with my girls and grandkids. Giggles of a five-year-old the talkative chattering of a teenager, my two beautiful, honest, compassionate, and smart girls. The laughter of my sons, my kids having this time together. Grace Institute, manna, in this wilderness, my great cloud of witnesses who pray and support me. Friends who reach out, hugs, conversations that end with, I love you. My wife, she inspires me, our children, and our grandchildren. My husband, of 52 plus years. I wouldn't want to spend this time with anyone else. Two of mom's sisters who passed away within the last five weeks. My church family and neighbors who I see online and on the gravel road. Youth meetings by Zoom the chance to talk with a dear friend. People who inspire and raise me up. The kindness I keep seeing during this time. I have family I'm waiting to see, but grateful that I can wait until it's safe. A morning wake-up shower, coffee on the deck, tea, laundry brought in from the clothesline, ginger snap cookies on the counter. The bird feeder Christmas gift we're enjoying new birds every day. Robins in my yard, space to be outside. Our acreage that seems so much bigger, giving and beautiful this spring. Living in the openness of the Midwest, the sound of the door as my loved ones return home safely. 
homemade soup, fresh bread baking. Technology, being able to work at home, a job with a steady income, the quiet of this stay at home time. Cats napping in sunny patches, dog companions, books, a warm sweatshirt to wear as I work outside today, supper in the oven made by my husband, a cozy bed and pillow at night. Uplifting music, the music of nature, the music of my family, the music in a child's laughter. The music that gets us through those rough days at work. The music of my church. The music that makes my feet keep dancing. the faith that sustains me. Where would we be without God? Hope, life. Grace at the end of another hard day. A thankful heart. And after three things, more often than not, I get on a roll and I just keep on going. I keep naming and listing until I lie grinning, blankets pulled up to my chin. A wash with wonder at the sweetness of it all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life 
may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.